हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई चैनल टेक एंड आर्ट होप यू गाइज डूइंग वेल सो टूडे सेशन आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस विथ यू द ई आर डायग्राम ऑफ सीक्वल सर्वर डेटाबेस सो वाट इज द ई आर डायग्राम एंड वेन इट्स रिक्वायर्ड टू फेच द ई आर डायग्राम एंड हाउ टू फेच द यू नो ई आर डायग्राम ओके सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द सेशन आई वुड रिक्वेस्ट टू ईच एंड एवरी वन हु एवर न्यूली ज्वाइन प्लीज डोंट फॉरगेट टू शेयर विथ अदर्स एंड आई हैव सीन the video analytic analytics couple of resources uh, haven't subscribed yet so please do subscribe the channel okay so let me describe a bit about the er diagram although we have already knows in during the you know uh, the college periods when we started reading the rdbms so basically er diagram called is entity relation diagram, uh, diagram. basically it's a snapshot of data structure an entity relation diagram shows the entity tables in a database and the relationship between tables within the database so this diagram will help you to identify the relation between tables inside the database the simple statement is er diagram based on the er diagram you can identify the relation between the tables within a database okay now the question is how to fetch the er diagram sometimes we are getting the request from the application user also we need a er diagram of particular database and how we can provide them okay because they don't have access at all so they cannot create a er diagram so we are we need to provide the er diagram okay so for er diagram uh, whatever the database go to database and here you can see the database diagram right click on a database diagram okay One second, it's a slow. Why it's slow? Not sure. Uh, Madam Studio is somewhere stuck. It will come. Ah, uh, so click on a new database diagram. Okay, now you will get the table. So what are the tables? If they you need to fetch the database diagram, ER diagram for a particular table, you can select them. If you require to fetch all the tables, you can select like this and click on a add. Okay. so uh, if you can see in a background it started the create creation of a er diagram so once it's completed for all the tables it will be blank here okay so let's wait a couple of second uh, because background process already started to creating the er diagram now you can see all the tables gone from here so you can simply close it okay now we have option here uh if you see the cursor just follow the cursor if you come here you will see the zoom based on this zoom you can see the er diagram like this okay you can do the left right and you can see the relation between the tables as you can see these three tables correlated parents and child okay so based on this zoom you can read it here and the second thing is i will tell you one more thing you can just do the right click here okay and uh you can copy the diagram to clipboard okay so you can uh zoom it also go to zoom and increase the font size like 200 okay whatever and you can save it as well so if you save the diagram whatever the diagram er diagram name you want to paste i am going with by default just click on okay if you want to provide them to any application user just uh, increase the font i i have already increased arrange the tables it will arrange automatically and do the copy one second do the copy diagram to clipboard okay open your whatever word if you want to if you want to give them in a word file uh, you can click on a open your microsoft word and you can just simply paste it here so all the er diagram will become here and you can save it and you can send them to application users as you can see i i have already did it okay so through this way you can provide them you can save it and whatever we saved here if you want to you know see the er diagram so whenever it's required you can fetch let me close this one 
let's see uh, whenever it's required it will create because you have already saved it in a in your database so no need to fetch again and again okay whatever the year diagram is here we have saved it will come here okay so through this way you can pull the er diagram hope you got got my point what is the er diagram and how to create a er diagram for a particular database and how we can save it and how we can send to the application users as well so that's it for today guys uh, hope you got my point in the next session i will come with the another sql best session meanwhile take care and bye bye and whoever new on my channel please don't forget to share if you like the video don't forget to comment also thank you